Health officials still say one of the best ways to stop the spread of this virus is by wearing a mask, preferably an N95. But finding the real deal and not a counterfeit is a big issue right now. The CDC says there are possible warning signs before buying approved N95 and KN95 masks from third party marketplaces or unfamiliar websites. Brenda joins us right now with this story. And Brenda, how do you know if you're buying the right mask? Well, there are many ways to tell if you're getting a fake mask. The, the biggest indicator is the NIOSH approval markings. But what does that look like? With the recent surge in Omicron cases, Idaho health officials and the Center for Disease Control and Prevention say masks are still the best way to help protect against the highly contagious variant. Keep wearing your mask even when no one else is. It's a smart idea. Whenever you're indoors, I would keep doing it. For the best protection, surgical masks are recommended instead of the cough mask. But with so many fake COVID-19 face masks sold online, health officials say it's important to pay extra attention before buying. A report released by the CDC says about 60% of the KN95 masks out there right now are counterfeit. And what that means is that they don't actually meet that 95% filtration effectiveness standard. So how do you know you're wearing the correct mask? While the CDC says to look at the mask itself, no marking, no approval or TCC number, and misspelling of the NIOSH on mask is a sign of a fake one. But what exactly does that mean? The CDC says NIOSH approved masks have an approved label that can be looked up and verified on the NIOSH website. Usual N95 respirators have markings across the mask. They're going to say that they're NIOSH approved. Uh, they're going to list an approval number. Um, and you're going to see some sort of official logo. Other counterfeit signs to look out for decorative fabrics and if the mask has ear loops instead of headbands. Also look out to see if the mask claims to be child approved. It's important because at this time, NIOSH does not approve any type of respiratory protection for children. There aren't any of the N95s for kids because they haven't been studied in kids. You know, these are intended for adult health care workers, really. Um, so for kids who are over two, I suggest a good fitting cloth mask. Primary health physician and clinical supervisor Annie Wise says finding the correct mask has been a challenge for many people. And it's not straightforward. You actually have to look at the specific manufacturer and the fine print um, and try to find that manufacturer on this list. And then you look at the approval number next. Y says even if you can't get your hands on an approved mask, some protection is better than no protection. Cloth masks, I think, are just fine. You're going to get protection as long, again, as it's well fitting. There's a seal at the nose. Uh, and that you're wearing it over the nose and mouth. So Brenda, why is 95% filtration necessary for these masks? And why is that a good thing right now? Yeah, well, masks like N95 can filter up to 95% of particles compared to a cloth mask that only gives you that 37% filtration. Uh, okay. So when dealing with a variant like the Omicron, that 95% filtration can make a, a large difference in protecting you from it. It really can. All right, it's important to know these things, especially with how fast this is spreading. I know a lot of people out there know many people who have the virus right now. Thank